We're here at the Long Beach Convention Center for the 2014 Comic Con, and I have Maddie, who just finished uh, being part of a panel for women in animation. So first of all, you know, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the projects you're working on. Okay, uh, my name's Maddie Lane Flores, but I prefer being called Maddie. Um, I was a writer on BM Puppy Cat, and I did some freelance for Adventure Time, and my most recent thing was I was a storyboard artist for Bad Seeds, which is a new and upcoming show up for Nickelodeon. Um, and I'm going to be starting up at DreamWorks in a couple of days. So, wow, yeah. very impressive. And you said on the panel only six months. This has been new for you So here in Los Angeles. Is this like a whirlwind or how have you been handling all this? Um, it's really kind of like a dream come true. Uh, I never expected that I'd be able to work in animation. Um, I didn't go to school for it, but I always wanted to do it. So I was just really lucky that through the magic of the internet, people found me and I offered me jobs. Tell them a little bit about how that happened because I think a lot of times people have this creativity and need an outlet. How do they take uh, you know, that creativity and make it into something, especially if they're able to do it on their own? Um, I think that once you find out what you want to do, whether it's animation or drawing comics or just illustration, share it with people. Put it on the internet, put it on Instagram, Tumblr, and then that's where people will find it and then they'll connect with it. And then you'll just build this nice community and you can just you grow creatively as well just by sharing it with someone else. And then lastly, um, you just did a panel, you talked about women getting in the industry. Is it still, do you feel like a challenge as a female and what are some things that girls can do that are into this whole field, want to get into animation, etc.? What can they do to kind of, you know, surpass that feeling of like being in the minority? Um, well, I was that a couple of months ago. <laughs> um, so I think that nowadays things are changing, like my, um, the boss, that I was working for on Nickelodeon, and he was telling me how now he'd never worked on a show where there were female board artists, and now there were f at least four or five of us. And so it's just like we're getting a chance to show that we can do anything, and just by like the internet again, um, being able to share everything with people and getting hired that way too. Uh, yeah, I just owe all my success to Tumblr, and I think that. Um, that's a lot of stories with everyone else too, because um, there's no more gatekeeping. There's no, like you don't need a degree. You don't need to go through the old traditional channels. Yeah. Um, so if you are, you know, a girl that lives in the middle of nowhere, if you have an internet connection, you can start making your career just like that. <laughs> yes, get that Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, lastly, do you use any Adobe products either for the stuff you work on or on your own? Yes, uh, mostly Photoshop. Um, I use that for all my comics okay. and um, any type of layout or character design work as well. All yeah. Right, well, we're <laughs> glad to have you. It was a great panel. Thank you so much and hopefully you'll be back next year. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely, thank you.